I completely transformed my Star Wars Lego base from this to this. And this video is gonna go over every step of the process, from each building to each floor piece. That was most likely one of the most painstaking things I've ever had to do in this in game. each one of the bridges around our village. So if you guys do enjoy, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and like the video. Without further ado, let's get started. Today's gonna be part two of making our dream rebel base. If you guys remember in the last episode, we built these watchtowers in each one of our four corners of our village. Now I took the liberty off camera and built our first bridge right here. This is gonna be the intended design for each one of our bridges as we build them across from each tower. As we're chopping down trees and collecting more wood, this would actually be a great time to talk about the brand new update that came to LEGO Fortnite with this past week's update. Now, instead of only being able to carry 50 wood in your inventory at a time, they increased it from 50 all the way to 80. Now you're going to be able to consolidate a lot of your inventory, save a lot of space in your chests, and also be able to carry a lot more wood with you at all times. Not only did they increase how much wood you can carry, but they also increased how much wood drops from each tree that you break. Somebody much smarter than me actually already broke this down, so I'm going to go ahead and place a screenshot right on screen for you, just so you guys have a better understanding of how much wood you're going to be getting now in game. You feel free to pause the video and uh, go ahead and take a screenshot, just so you guys have this little cheat sheet with you. So not only did they increase the amount of wood that you can carry in your inventory they also increase the amount of granite so granite got the same treatment as wood now instead of only holding 50 granite in your inventory you can now hold up to 80 at one time all right so since i already did the bridge on this end of the village i'm going to be showing you guys how i ended up doing it so it all starts by using the acres floor number four eight by eight by one and we're going to be extending out two so after we're done extending out two, we're going to actually jump down and start staggering the pieces just to make that little drop effect that we have on this other bridge. So um, we line it up perfectly and then I'm just going to nudge it one over for the first one, one over for the second one. And for the third one, I'm going to nudge it over twice. And then after we're done with the staggering, we're just going to build all the way across. So after we're done with the first connection, we're going to be extending the bridge a little bit utilizing the anchor floor three. So we're going to be starting by just placing these oh, along the side of the build. And then with the cascade, we're going to be placing the blocks tree if you will find the snap. Okay, so now that we've connected the bridge and widened it a little bit, we're going to be building our fences alongside the parts of the bridge right here. So again, I'm going to be using the acre railing number three and we're going to be putting it along the side of the bridge here. So we're gonna line it up and now we're gonna run it alongside the rest of the bridge and just finish the connection here. And we're just gonna do a rinse and repeat on the other side. So now that we're done with the top part, we're gonna be working on the pillars. So in order to get this little staggered effect, we're gonna be going back to the base of the bridge, building down a, uh, a staggered effect here. We're going to be doubling it up here and it's just going to get gradually lower over time. As we stack them, we're kind of building up more and more layers of it until we get to our final layer, which is going to be three deep. If it doesn't look exactly like this, that's completely fine. So it's not we're looking for perfect symmetry. As long as it looks generally right, you should be doing OK. So we're going to start with our pillars. We're utilizing the uh, palatial pillar number two. So this is going to be two by two by 18. We're going to be placing these pillars on both ends of the bridges in that divot that we created after we're done stacking these pieces. So in order to make sure they're lined up, I'm just gonna snap it to this piece and then make sure that when we move the pillar, it's connected to the bridge on the bottom part here. Placing the palatial pillar number one, gonna be adding another one right on the bottom of it. And essentially what we were doing for that first part here with the staggering up, we're gonna be doing the same exact thing on the other end here. We kind of wanted to cover up the pillars on the base of them. Uh, so we wanted to add in a splash of the Moss Isley builds. And I think the best way for us to do that is going to be using the Moss Isley corner. So do this. We want to get as close as possible to the pillar and stay in the dead middle of it. Place in each one of our pillars. So this is what it's going to look like around the entire village between each one of our towers. So with that being said, I'm just going to queue up the montage and be able to see the finished product. All right. Bridge number two is complete on to bridge number three. All right, just gonna pause right here really quick. So with our third bridge that we're building from, from our two rear towers, um, I incorporated a little bit of a staircase so we can go ahead on top of the Moss Isley roof. And it's giving me a really fun idea. What if, what if, and hear me out, we built a ship 
up here on top of the tower that we can have access to at any time. Okay, that is bridge number three complete. Now, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe if you haven't already. About 95% of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed, so if you guys can go ahead, it means a world of a difference for me. We're only at about 150 subscribers right now, and I'm trying to get to 1,000. So if you guys want to go ahead and support, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. All right, so now that we have all of our bridges complete, and I'll get to the hole in the bridge in a moment, we need to do two more things. So I believe we need one more building in order to round out the entire village. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the entire floor of this village with wooden foundation, and we're going to fill it in with some wooden flooring. But we're also going to be using the Moss Isley paths in order to fill in each path from building to building. We're going to begin with our final build of our village, which I believe is going to be the Moss Isley large garage where where's bro going where are you going oh yeah and he's coming back all right bro's just doing laps it's fine all right so I cleared out obviously a lot more than anticipated but with this we should be able to start making our building okay perfect now what I want to do is I want to make sure it lines up okay I think with that it should be able to line up there perfect Okay, and with that, the Moss Isley Large Garage is complete. Oh man, flying away from it, it really puts everything into perspective. I think it's going to be really cool to connect the bridges to it. I think I already see the vision. This almost lines up already perfectly going straight through the garage. Um, and as we know, we like to take these prefabs and we like to add our own little flair to it. So uh, I'm thinking that we go ahead and add a little bit of pop of white somewhere into it. I think we can toss a, a little more wooden accent. So let's see what we can do here. Um, utilizing our same tactic that we did for our house over there for the rounded corners, we're going to be using the pillars again. And for the walls, we're just going to go ahead and get started with a basic rebel uh, insignia wall right here place right there okay perfect it seems like we may be off by just the tiniest bit so all right so after completing this little bottom portion here i'm actually in love with how this looks uh just keeping it that bottom portion really just adds a lot of character to it even that small uh, minute change to the entire prefab kind of gives it a whole new life and it really helps incorporate it into the builds that we have going on right here so and the final thing that we're gonna do in this video is uh gonna take a little bit of time for me for you guys you guys are gonna probably gonna see this happen very quickly but as you guys probably saw at the beginning of the video we are gonna be taking this entire floor of our village and making it all wooden flooring with also utilizing the uh, moss isley paths that we unlock with our different prefabs I mean, it all starts with just a big chunk of foundation, so let's just get started with- So, after about half an hour of placing down these uh, wooden foundations in our village, this is actually where we are going to be stopping putting down the wooden foundations. Just in order to save ourselves on the complexity error, um, this is all we're gonna need to rebuild all the flooring across the entire village. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Now we're gonna be going into a supercut where we're gonna be placing down every single piece of flooring that we're gonna be using for this village. 328 a.m. Um, that was probably, I'm not even gonna lie, that was most likely one of the most painstaking things I've ever had to do in this game. Borderline not fun, I'm gonna tell you right now. But, with all that done, I'm just in love with the result. Look at everything on the ground. Uh, look at the flooring just completely covered. Excuse me. Completely filling in the entire floor and getting ready for our next step of the build is going to be the pathways So we're gonna be making a pathway from each one of our buildings into the middle of the village right here I'm gonna spare you guys all the painstaking uh, things we're gonna have to replace on the ground So with the power of editing, I'm gonna make these paths just appear tomorrow. All right, everyone So we finally completed all the paths that are on our floor now. So without further ado Let me just show you what we've made so far all right so uh as you guys can see we have a pathway from each building leading into each one 
um, the flooring that we're using is going to be the color we're going with. And I'm going to complete more stuff off camera, making it a little more polished. Because uh, uh, as you can see, this isn't connecting right now or anything like that. But this is the general outline of what we're going to be using. Um, I'm loving how it's turning out. And uh, I have this as our aerial view over here. So this is going to be the aerial view of it. I am loving how it's turning out so far. Uh, so this is actually where we're going to call the video for today. Uh, I would say we made a fair amount of progress. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please feel free to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of August. So if you guys are looking at the subscribe button and it doesn't say 1,000, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. And it helps make sure I can get these videos out more often to just keep pumping content out for you guys. Thank Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.